Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. The patch is now live, and I just want to give you the breakdown on how many rewards you're going to be getting as a Path of Champions player for this new patch if you decide to get the event pass. So, bunch of stuff in here, but I counted through everything you're going to get as a Path of Champions player. So in total, you're going to get 50 fragments for Nico or Neko, 50 fragments for Nidalee. You're going to get 10 fragments for the Poro King. You're going to get three of these bronze reliquaries. So these have a common relic, but a chance for a rare relic. You have two silver reliquaries. So the better version of this, that's more likely to have a rare relic in it. And then you have one gold vault. Now the gold vault has a decent amount of champion fragments in there. And with the update this patch, the gold vault is guaranteed to not have any duplicates in there so it should be all for champions you don't yet have now in the event there is no guaranteed relics this time i know a lot of people were looking forward to gale force that is not in here there are no guaranteed relics in the event pass now there are some other quests that are not necessarily tied to the event pass so if we scroll down here we can see win adventures and path of champions you're going to get five more fragments for poro king top performer Earn A or S badges on adventures that are 2.5 or higher, 10 more fragments for Poro King, and then reach level 12 with two of these champions, and it's the three new ones, and then you'll get 10 more fragments for Nico, and then there's some also other silver reliquaries and wild fragments here. Now these two you should be able to do without the event pass. For this third one down here, claim node 74 of the event pass. If we go and look at the very end of the event pass, so the 74 node right here, this is a premium one. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I believe to claim this node, you will have to buy the event pass. Obviously to get this node, since this is premium, you're going to have to buy it. But I don't know whether or not if you just complete the entire event pass, even if you can't claim this, if you're free to play. Not sure if you'll be able to get this quest objective right down here, because it says claim the node to get that silver reliquary. But I believe this should be the only quest you're given where you actually have to have the event pass in order to get it. So overall, a decent amount of shards if you want to get all of the new champions. That being said, I know a lot of people really wanted Gale Force to be in this event pass. Sadly, no guaranteed relics. That is rather disappointing. I'm not going to say whether or not you should buy the event pass because that is completely up to you and your own situation. For me as a content creator, wanting to get all these champions start up and leveled up for you as fast as possible. I am obviously getting it, but I'll leave it up to you whether or not you think it is worth it for you. If you're enjoying all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. I will be putting out videos giving my first impressions of all the champions, leveling them all up, and doing guides for them. Also, if you want to talk about Path of Champions, we do have a Discord, which I'll put in the link down below. Hope to see you there, and I hope you have a great day.